We now welcome Andrea Pope with the Victoria ISD here to talk to us about a student job fair. Welcome to Community Crossroads. Thank you for having me. Well, it's great to have you back. Thank and you. Freshly sun-kissed, you've got a lot of sun <laughs> since I last saw you. Yes, it's summertime, but we're still working, so. Right, and with work on the mind, talk to us about this job fair, especially designed for students. Um, we are going to have a job fair on July the 25th from 12 to 2. It's just the mini job fair, and it's for our career prep students. Our career prep students, um, their course, they re are required to have a job during school and so they are allowed to go uh, work early or leave school early to go to work and so what we're doing is we're trying to make sure that we can find employment for all of those students we have over a hundred students who are enrolled in that course and we want to make sure that uh, they are all employed before the first day of school which is August the 9th and so for the job fair, it is uh, going to be happening during a mandatory student parent meeting on July 25th. And that way we have employers there where students who do not have jobs, they can come in and, and apply with them. And for students who may not have a way of, of getting to work, there are some jobs available from within the school district. Yes, there is. So Victoria ISD also has student uh, jobs available, and so we will uh, have computers available for them to apply for VISD also. Uh, so employers, we're inviting you to come out uh, at CTI Mall uh, by the admin building on July 25th from 12 to 2. Uh, set up a table, have applications. We have computers there available for you if uh, the applications are online. And uh, we would just like to see you come out and help employ our students. Uh, most of our students will be, uh, are allowed to leave around 105 to go to work. Oh, wow. Um, most of the students, there are some students who will not be able to leave until two, it depends on their schedules. Uh, they're required to work 15 hours a week. Um, and then they also go to class uh, for career prep where they are, um, they work on how to read a paycheck, how to uh, work with customers, how to, uh, just the soft employment skills. And so there's a class they have to attend during the day also to help with those. Wow, it sounds like a great opportunity for students and what a way to get a leg up on your career. Some people don't start working until they turn 17 or 18, but this way they can start as young as 15, 14? 16. 16, okay, yes. okay. And so, you know, this is an opportunity where students can try different careers. Uh, if there's uh, employment available here and that, let's say like a vet and they wanna go and work at a vet office, this is an, you know, an opportunity for them to try it out. And so, and it gets our students out there in the community working and, and getting that, you know, those soft employability skills uh, working for them for their careers. And developing those professional mentors way early. Definitely, yes. So if uh, employers, if you would love to join us on July 25th, uh, email me at cte at visd.net and I will get back with you and get you set up to come and work with our kids. Awesome. Andrea, thank you so much for coming by, and we look forward to hearing more about this program. Thank you. Appreciate it. And thank you for joining us. Be sure to check us out on CrossroadsToday.com. You can also see previous interviews on our YouTube channel, Crossroads Today. Have a great rest of your week.